my most precious child. Let the words I share with you today resonate deep within the core of your being. For what is to come shall shake the very foundations of all you have known. A great upheaval approaches. A cosmic tremor that will reverberate through the fabric of reality itself, leaving nothing untouched in its wake. Yet fear not, my child. For this is not a harbinger of doom or destruction, but rather a profound catalyst for transformation and rebirth. Just as the caterpillar must endure the seeming death of its cocoon before emerging as a magnificent butterfly, so too must the world you inhabit undergo a metamorphosis of unprecedented magnitude. Be ready for this day, for it is a pivotal moment in the grand tapestry of your soul's evolution. The veils of illusion that have shrouded humanity's perception for eons are soon to be rent asunder, revealing the resplendent truth that has always resided at the heart of creation. This unveiling shall be both wondrous and disorienting, as the foundations upon which you have built your understanding of reality are shaken to their core. Be ready, and embrace the upheaval with an open heart and a resilient spirit. For this shaking is not a punishment, but a profound act of divine love, a cosmic realignment that will liberate you from the shackles of limitation and propel you towards the full embodiment of your infinite potential. As the tremors intensify, you may bear witness to the crumbling of long-held belief systems, the dissolution of societal structures that have constrained the human spirit for far too long. Institutions built upon fear, separation, and scarcity shall give way to new paradigms rooted in unity, abundance, and the recognition of the sacred interconnectedness that binds all life. Be ready, for this shaking shall reveal the truth that lies beneath the surface of appearances, exposing the intricate web of deception that has kept humanity enchained in a cycle of suffering and limitation. The veil of forgetfulness that has obscured your divine birthright shall be lifted allowing you to reclaim your sovereignty and step into your rightful role as a co-creator of the universe. As the old paradigms crumble, you may feel the ground shift beneath your feet, leaving you momentarily disoriented and grasping for stability. But fear not, my child, for I shall be your anchor in the midst of the storm. Turn inward and you will find the unwavering strength and resilience that resides within the depths of your soul, a wellspring of courage and fortitude that has been forged through countless lifetimes of spiritual growth and awakening. Be ready and trust in the unfolding of the divine plan, for this shaking is a necessary catalyst for the birthing of a new era of unprecedented unity, harmony, and spiritual enlightenment. Though the path may seem arduous and the challenge is formidable, you are never alone. I am with you always, a constant presence guiding you through the tumult, illuminating the way towards the emergence of a world built upon the foundations of love, compassion, and the sacred honoring of all life. In the midst of the shaking, seek solace in the stillness that resides at the core of your being. There, you will find an oasis of peace a sanctuary where you can reconnect with the unwavering truth of your divine essence. For you are far more than this physical vessel. You are a timeless, multi-dimensional being whose roots stretch deep into the fertile soil of eternity. Be ready and embrace the role you have been called to play in this great unveiling. You are a way shower, a beacon of light in the darkness a living embodiment of the transformation that is sweeping across the planet. Your every thought, word, and deed carries the power to catalyze profound change, rippling outward like a pebble cast into the still waters of consciousness. As the shaking intensifies, hold fast to your faith in the greater plan, for what may appear as chaos is but the prelude to a symphony of unparalleled beauty and harmony. The old structures must crumble to make way for the new, just as the seed must break open to allow the tender shoot to emerge and blossom into its full, radiant potential. Be ready, my child, for the dawn of a new era is upon us, a time of unprecedented awakening, 
where the veil of separation is lifted and the realization of our sacred interconnectedness becomes the foundation upon which we build a world of lasting peace, prosperity, and spiritual enlightenment. Though the journey may be arduous and the challenges formidable, know that you possess the strength, the resilience, and the unwavering courage to weather any storm. For you are a child of the divine, imbued with the limitless creative power that birthed the cosmos itself. Be ready and let your light shine forth like a beacon in the darkness, guiding others towards the path of awakening and self-realization. You are a living embodiment of the transformation that is sweeping across the planet, a harbinger of the new dawn that is breaking upon the horizon of human consciousness. Embrace this sacred calling with humility and reverence, for you have been entrusted with a great responsibility to midwife the birthing of a new paradigm founded upon the principles of love, unity, and the honoring of the sacredness of all life. Be ready, my beloved child, for the greatest adventure of your soul's journey is upon us. Together, we shall navigate the turbulent waters of transformation, emerging victorious and resplendent, like a phoenix rising from the ashes of the old paradigm. In the depths of your being, you have always known this day would come. You have prepared for lifetimes, gathering the wisdom, strength, and resilience required to meet this moment with unwavering courage and an open heart. Be ready and know that you are never alone. I am with you always. A constant presence guiding you through the tumult, illuminating the way towards the emergence of a world built upon the foundations of love, compassion, and the sacred honoring of all life. Trust in me and in the greater plan that is unfolding before us. Though the path may seem uncertain and the challenge is daunting, you are a being of infinite power and potential. Blessed with the capacity to shape the very fabric of reality through the unwavering focus of your will and the boundless love that resides within your heart. Be ready, my child, for the time of great shaking is upon us. But fear not, for this is a sacred initiation, a profound transformation that will birth a new era of unprecedented unity, harmony, and spiritual awakening. You are my beloved, and I am forever by your side, guiding you, supporting you, and celebrating your every triumph. Together, we shall co-create a world beyond your wildest dreams. A reality where love reigns supreme and the limitless potential of the human spirit is unleashed in all its breathtaking glory. Be ready, for this day is upon us, a day that will be etched into the annals of eternity as the moment when humanity collectively awoke from the slumber of illusion and stepped into the radiant light of truth, love, and infinite possibility eternally yours the source of all that is precious child your super thanks ignites our divine quest tap the button to stand with us in spreading god's timeless message of truth and enlightenment in return welcome the endless blessings cascading from the depths of his unfailing love my dear child i want you to know that i have called you for a special purpose over the past months i've been revealing myself to you in new ways allowing you to explore the depths of who I am. As my spirit searches the deep places within you, I've brought you to a point where my timing and your purpose are about to converge, propelling you into your destiny. Remember those things that bring you joy and excitement, the passions that stir your heart, and the topics you could discuss endlessly. These are the desires I've placed within you. And now, I'm bringing them to the forefront of your life with greater clarity. As I rebuild this nation, I'm starting with you. I've laid a strong foundation in your life. And now I'm going to build you up and elevate you to walk into the greatest days you've ever known. Don't overthink finding your purpose or calling. It's not meant to be confusing. Simply pursue the things you love doing, whether it's helping children, serving others, or raising up people the way I'm raising you up. As you walk with me and we become one, 
you'll naturally live out the desires I've placed within you. My Holy Spirit will equip you with supernatural gifts through my grace, providing you with the tools you need to serve and empower others. Just as I did during my earthly ministry, I trained up the disciples and apostles, filled them with the power and fire of my spirit, and sent them out. In the same way, I'm purifying and preparing you for your mission. My child, click on the join button to join us as the cherished member of our community. I know the process hasn't been easy, but my hand has always been upon you, guiding and leading you. As you commit your ways to me and acknowledge me in all your paths, I cause you to prosper and make your path straight. You're closer to your breakthrough than you realize, far from the wilderness and dry lands you once knew. Every time you praise me, think of me, or pray without ceasing, I draw closer to you. Like the father of the prodigal son, I see you from afar and run to embrace you, too, clothing you with my righteousness. As I increase the blessings, favor, and glory in your life, go out and do good works in my name. My goodness leads you to repentance, causing you to turn from the ways of the world and draw closer to me. Arise and shine, for my glory has risen upon you, and my story is about to shine through you. As you bring glory to my name here on earth, my kingdom is within you, around you. And in the community where I send you, I have healed you, and now you will go forth with accuracy, piercing the darkness. Your presence will cause demons to flee, and your words will breathe life into dead situations. Just as Ezekiel prophesied to the dry bones, I'm calling you forth, Lazarus, to take off your grave clothes and let me unwrap you. Go and shine, for there is no more stench of death on you. You are glorious and victorious, triumphing in all things through me. Every good and perfect gift in your life comes from me, the Father of Heaven. I have seated you in heavenly places and given you a heavenly perspective. Grow in the things of the Spirit, for your life is no longer limited to the physical realm. You will walk in supernatural abundance, healing, and the fire of my power, causing all who see you to glorify me. Remember to enjoy life, for laughter is medicine to your soul, as you rejoice. I'm gathering you to a remnant of people who haven't bowed their knees to the world or its kingdoms. Come and fish with me, reside with me, as I bring you into the greatest level and calling of your life, destiny is upon you, and I'm bringing you kingdom connections and helpers to position you exactly where you belong. Congratulations, well, my child, you have matured, ready to spread my word throughout the earth and bring my fruit to the nations. Raise your voice and lift your head high, for I am behind you, going before you, and surrounding you on every side. Died no weapon formed against you shall prosper, and every tongue that rises against you in condemnation and accusation, you shall prove wrong, my beloved child. As you step into this new season of your life, know that I am with you every step of the way. I have seen your faithfulness and your dedication to seeking me, and I am pleased. The desires I have placed within you are not mere whims or passing fancies, but a reflection of the unique purpose I have ordained for you since the beginning of time. Do not be afraid to pursue those things that bring you joy and fulfillment, for they are often the very things I have called you to do, whether it's serving the less fortunate, mentoring the next generation, or using your gifts to uplift others. Trust that I have equipped you with all you need to make a difference in this world. As you walk in obedience to my will, you will find that doors will open that you never thought possible. Opportunities will arise that align perfectly with the passions I have instilled in you. There will be times when the path ahead seems unclear, and you may feel like you've lost your way. In those moments, trust in my guidance, and know that I am always leading you towards your ultimate destiny, even when you can't see the way. I am directing your steps and preparing the way before you. 
As you continue to seek me and prioritize our relationship, you will find that my presence becomes more and more tangible in your life. You will experience a depth of intimacy with me that surpasses anything you've ever known. My love for you is unending, and my desire is for you to walk in the fullness of all that I have for you. As you walk in obedience and surrender to my will, you will see my hand moving in powerful ways in your life. Miracles will become commonplace, and you will witness the impossible becoming possible before your very eyes. Your faith will grow stronger with each passing day. Remember, my child, that you are never alone. I am always with you, and I have given you the gift of my Holy Spirit to guide you, comfort you, and empower you to live a life that brings glory to my name. As you continue on this journey, know that I am proud of you and the person you are becoming. You are a reflection of my love and grace to the world around you, and your life has the power to impact countless others for eternity. Keep pressing forward, keep seeking my face, and know that I am always working behind the scenes to bring about my perfect plan for your life. I have called you by name, and you are mine. You are precious in my sight, and I have great plans for you. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Trust in my goodness. Trust in my faithfulness. And know that I will never leave you or forsake you, my beloved child. Think back on the countless moments throughout your life when someone tried to share eye-opening insights with you. Or when you encountered something that seemed to gain traction and offer a potential path forward. Yet, for various reasons, you dismissed it, choosing not to investigate further or pursue it wholeheartedly. This decision stemmed from an incomplete understanding. You didn't grasp the full picture or have access to the entire revelation. But fear not. For when I unveil something new to you, it unlocks fresh possibilities. You begin to see with renewed clarity, even if the situation remains unchanged. I may bring the same circumstances back around, but this time you perceive them differently. Suddenly, the pieces fall into place, and you comprehend what I have been trying to show you all along. The path becomes crystal clear, and you recognize where I have been guiding you. This newfound understanding arises from the revelation I have imparted to you. These revelations will transform your perspectives on relationships, finances, and health, ultimately reshaping your life as you know it. When revelation dawns, it's as if a long-awaited epiphany occurs. Something that previously eluded you suddenly makes perfect sense. As a result, you find yourself accomplishing more without expending as much energy as before. What once drained you becomes effortless as it aligns seamlessly with your new way of life. There is no turning back, for you realize this is the only way to be. Returning to your former way of life would be akin to dwelling in a realm devoid of life. Once I reveal something to you, it empowers you to live and thrive in ways that defy earthly logic. As you continue to seek me and allow my spirit to guide you, I will unveil new revelations tailored specifically to your journey. These revelations will shape your thoughts, actions, and decisions, aligning them with my purpose for your life. Embrace the process of revelation, knowing that it is an ongoing conversation between you and me. Remember, my child, that revelation is not meant to be hoarded or boasted about. It is a sacred trust, a divine insight granted to you for the purpose of growth, transformation, and fulfillment of your God-given destiny. Steward these revelations with humility and gratitude, allowing them to shape you into the person I have created you to be. As you walk in the light of revelation, you will find that your life takes on new meaning and purpose. You will experience a deeper sense of connection with me and a clearer understanding of your role in my eternal plan. The revelations I give you are not mere intellectual knowledge, but life-altering truths that penetrate your heart and soul. So, my beloved, embrace the revelations. I bring your way. Allow them to wash over you like a refreshing rain, 
cleansing away old mindsets and limitations. Let them illuminate your path, guiding you into the abundant life I have prepared for you. Trust in the process of revelation, knowing that I am always at work in your life, revealing myself to you in new and exciting ways. As you seek me with an open and receptive heart, I will continue to pour out my spirit upon you, imparting wisdom, understanding, and divine insight. Walk confidently in the revelations I have given you, knowing that they are a precious gift from your Heavenly Father. Allow them to transform you from the inside out, shaping you into a vessel of honor fit for my use. Remember, my child, that revelation is not a one-time event, but a lifelong journey of discovery and growth. My beloved child, I want you to know that I have given you a special gift, the ability to see the world in a whole new way. This gift comes from my spirit working within you, revealing truths that may be hidden from others. As you grow in your relationship with me, your perspective will continue to change and evolve. When you accepted me into your heart, it was a lifting of a fog that allowed you to see into a different realm. No longer are you limited by what your physical eyes can perceive. Now you have spiritual insight that transcends the natural world. This new way of seeing things will become an integral part of who you are and how you live your life. You may find that suddenly, things just click into place for you. Truths that once seemed obscure or confusing will become clear and obvious. You'll realize that there's no other way to live than in alignment with my will and purpose for your life. My disciples grew in their understanding during the time they spent on earth. At first, they didn't fully grasp the power of mine or their own authority as believers. They still struggled at times. But as they continued to walk with me and witness my miracles, their faith and understanding grew. They began to catch glimpses of revelation that transformed their perspective. The same promise is for you, my child. When the Holy Spirit comes upon you, you will receive power, power to live a transformed life and be a bold witness for me. This power is inseparable from the presence of my spirit within you. And as the spirit reveals truth to you, your perspective will change. Things that once seemed important will fade into the background while kingdom priorities will take center stage. Your life will begin to revolve around fulfilling the purpose I have for you. This is why revelation is so important. It's not just acquiring knowledge, but a heart change that rewrites your very reality. When I reveal something to you, it's like a torch being lit in a dark room. Suddenly, you see everything more clearly, and you can't imagine going back to the way you saw things before. Your capacity to understand and receive from me will increase as you spend time in my presence and my word. Things that once seemed too difficult or even impossible will become achievable by my spirit at work within you. Revelation will elevate you to a new level of living. As you walk in this revelatory light, you'll find that your life looks different from those around you. Your priorities, your perspective, your purpose, they'll all be shaped by the truths I've revealed to you. While others may be chasing after temporary things, you'll be building my eternal kingdom. This is the kind of life I desire for you, a life of ever-increasing revelation and intimacy with me, a life where my spirit is continually teaching, guiding, and empowering you, a life that shines brightly in a dark world, leading others to the hope that is only found in me. My beloved child, I have poured out my spirit upon you like a refreshing spring of living water. This outpouring is a special kind of anointing, one that brings revelation and understanding. Just as oil was poured over the heads of kings and priests in ancient times, so too do I anoint you with the oil of my spirit. When my spirit comes to you, it illuminates the hidden things, the mysteries that were once veiled from your sight. This anointing is not given to all, but to those who are ready to carry its weight and responsibility. It is the same anointing that I bestowed upon my faithful servants Moses, Paul, and John. Moses received my commandments on the mountain, inscribed on tablets of stone. Through this, 
he brought my law and instructions to the people. Paul, once a persecutor of my church, was transformed. He carried this anointing to the Gentiles, unveiling the mystery of the gospel that had been hidden for ages. John, my beloved disciple, was caught up in the spirit and shown the things that were to come. And now, my child, I am pouring out this same anointing upon you. It may come in a sudden moment of clarity, a moment where everything clicks into place. Suddenly, you see things from a new perspective, and what was once difficult becomes easy. Perhaps you have struggled with maintaining your health, but now, with this revelatory anointing, you understand the importance of caring for the body I have given you. It becomes a way of life, no longer a burden, but a joyful act of worship. You begin to see money, not as an end in itself, but as a tool to advance my kingdom and bless others. In your relationships, this anointing brings healing and restoration where once there was discord and misunderstanding. Now, there is grace and unity. You learn to love as I have loved you, with patience, kindness, and forgiveness. As you walk in this anointing, your life will be transformed. What was once impossible becomes possible through the power of my spirit at work within you. You will break free from generational curses. Remember, my child, that this anointing is not for your own glory, but for mine. So come up higher, my beloved. Come into my presence and wait upon me. I will give you the revelation and understanding you need to fulfill the purpose I have for you. Just as I instructed Moses to come up the mountain to receive my commandments, I invite you to ascend into the heavenly realms through prayer and worship. As you do, I will open your eyes to see things from my perspective. What was once hidden will be revealed, and you will gain insight into the mysteries of my kingdom. This revelation will not only transform your life, but will also flow through you to impact the lives of others. Do not be afraid of the weight of this anointing. I have prepared you and will continue to equip you for every good work. Trust in my strength, not your own, and lean upon the guidance of my Holy Spirit. In the pages of my word, you will find examples of those who have walked in this revelatory anointing before you. Study their lives, learn from their experiences, and be encouraged by their faithfulness. Above all, remember that I am with you always. I will never leave you or forsake you. As you step out in faith and obedience, I will guide your every step and empower you to do the works that I have prepared for you. So receive this anointing, my child. Allow it to saturate every area of your life, bringing transformation and revelation. Walk in the light of my truth and let your life be a testimony to the power of my spirit at work within you. I love you with an everlasting love, and I have great plans for you. Trust in me and watch as I unfold the mysteries of my kingdom before your very eyes. You are my chosen vessel, anointed and appointed for such a time as this. My precious child, I want you to know the depths of my love for you. Before the dawn of time, I knew you and cherished you. I formed you in your mother's womb with great care and intention. Every part of who you are, your personality, your quirks, your unique blend of strengths and weaknesses, was lovingly crafted by my hands. You are not an accident or afterthought, but a priceless treasure to me. When I look at you, I see beauty and wonder. The world may only see your flaws and shortcomings, but I see the incredible potential I've placed within you. I see the kindness of your heart, the creativity of your mind, and the resilience of your spirit. Even on your worst days, I know the pain and brokenness you've experienced in this fallen world. I've seen every tear you've cried, heard every doubt and fear whispered in your heart. But know this, your current circumstances do not define you. You are not the sum of your past mistakes and failures. First and foremost, you are mine, dearly loved, fully known, completely accepted. I have engraved your name on the palms of my hands, 
Your very self is intertwined with mine. I hurt when you hurt. I rejoice when you rejoice. You are never alone because I dwell within you. My spirit empowers, comforts me, and guides you. When you are weak, I am strong on your behalf. Lean into me, and I will give you rest. When you stumble and fall, run to me, not from me. I offer you unlimited grace and forgiveness. There is no sin too shocking, no failure too massive to separate you from my fierce love. I will always welcome you back with open arms, celebrating your return. My mercies are new every morning. Each day is a fresh start. As you travel through the peaks and valleys of life, cling to me. Make me your firm foundation and center point. Fix your eyes on things above. Saturate your mind with my word, which is living and active. Talk to me continually through prayer. Be still in my presence and know that I am God. Surrender your plans to me, for I know the path that is best for you. I will lead you step by step, illuminating the way forward. Trust me in the mystery when more is unknown than known. I am always good, always faithful, always true. What I start, I will complete, both in the world and in you. When fear grips you, meditate on my perfect love that casts out fear. When despair closes in, fight for hope by remembering my unfailing faithfulness. When others abandon you, take comfort in knowing that I will never leave your side. I am your safe place, your ever-present help in times of trouble. I am working in you and through you, even when you can't perceive it, little by little. I am cultivating in you love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. I want more for you than mere survival. I want you to thrive and flourish to live each day with passion and purpose, to savor every simple gift, to walk in freedom and victory, to leave a legacy of faith for the generations after you. Press into all that I have for you, beloved. If you remember one thing, remember this, there is nothing you can do to make me love you more and nothing you can do to make me love you less. My love for you is perfect, unconditional, and everlasting. It is not based on your behavior, but on my character, and I am unchanging. You are created anew to do the good works I prepared in advance for you. Walk in the security of belonging to me now and forevermore, my cherished child. I want to remind you of the incredible power of sowing seeds in the lives of others. Just as a farmer carefully plants seeds in fertile soil, trusting in the harvest to come, so too can you invest in the lives around you. Every act of kindness, every word of encouragement, every moment spent listening and caring, these are all seeds that you are planting. You may not always see the immediate results of your sowing, but trust that I am working behind the scenes to bring forth growth and transformation. The seeds you plant today may take root and blossom in ways you never imagined, impacting lives for generations to come. Remember the story of the mustard seed. Though it starts as the smallest of seeds, it grows into a mighty tree that provides shelter and nourishment for many. In the same way, even your smallest acts of love and faith can have a profound ripple effect in the world around you. As you go about your daily life, look for opportunities to sow seeds of hope, joy, and truth. Offer a smile to a stranger who looks downcast Take time to really listen to a friend who is struggling. Give generously of your resources to those in need. Share your story of how I have worked in your life, planting seeds of faith in the hearts of others. Sometimes the seeds you sow will land on rocky or thorny ground, and you may feel discouraged when you don't see the results you hoped for. But keep sowing faithfully, trusting that I am at work even when you can't see it. Not every seed will take root, but the ones that do can yield a mighty harvest. As you sow in the lives of others, remember that I am the Lord of the harvest, and I will bring forth fruit in due season. Trust in my timing, trust in my goodness, 
and continue to sow seeds of love and faith wherever you go. In doing so, you will be a faithful steward of the gifts I have given you, and you will bring glory to my name. Keep sowing, my child, for the harvest is coming. I also want you to be attentive to the seeds being sown in your own heart. Surround yourself with people who will speak life and truth over you, who will encourage you in your faith journey. Spend time in my word and in prayer, allowing my spirit to plant deep roots in your soul. Guard your heart against seeds of bitterness, resentment, and unforgiveness, which can take root and choke out the good seeds trying to grow. When you face hurts and disappointments, bring them to me and allow me to heal and restore you. Forgive others as I have forgiven you, sowing seeds of grace and reconciliation. I am so proud of the way you have been faithfully sowing and investing in others, even when it hasn't been easy. Your faith and perseverance inspire me. I see every act of love and kindness, and they are precious to me. In the same breath, I wish to gently remind you of the sacredness of rest. In a world that often exalts the frenzy of activity, it is simple to fall into the belief that perpetual motion is necessary, that constant sowing and serving are the only paths to fulfillment. Yet, I crafted you with boundaries, understanding the necessity of balance. It is permissible to decline at times, to choose discernment over relentless action. Ensure you carve out moments to replenish and rejuvenate your spirit, allowing it to overflow with abundance rather than emptiness. Cherish moments of solitude and tranquility with me, permitting my presence to revitalize your being. Engage in endeavors that bring you pure delight and renewal, recognizing their profound significance alongside the labor you undertake for my divine purpose. Remember that I am not in a hurry and I am not impressed by frenetic activity. I delight in a slow, steady faithfulness, a deep abiding in me that bears much fruit. Your worth is not found in how much you accomplish, but in your identity as my beloved child. Continue to sow those seeds of goodness, but do so with a mindful pace that honors sustainability. Deliberately craft rhythms of labor and repose, of planting and pruning, of generosity and acceptance. Entrust to me the responsibility of fostering growth, confident in my divine timing and methods, and on those inevitable days when you feel like you've failed or fallen short. Remember that my love for you is never based on your performance. You are making more of a difference than you know, my precious child. Keep walking in faithfulness and trust. The seeds you are sowing matter for eternity. And one day we will rejoice together over the beautiful harvest that has come forth from your labors of love. As you navigate through this day, remain vigilant for chances to sow seeds of kindness, compassion, and optimism. Extend a comforting word to a soul burdened with worry. Convey gratitude to those who have profoundly impacted your journey through a heartfelt note of appreciation. Each of these seeds may seem small, but they have the potential to grow and flourish in remarkable ways. You never know how a simple act of love may change the course of someone's life, setting off a chain reaction of goodness and transformation. And as you sow into others, remember to also cultivate the soil of your own heart. Just as a gardener must continually water, fertilize, and tend to their plants, so too must you nourish your own soul. Spend time in worship and gratitude, meditating on my goodness and faithfulness. Surround yourself with uplifting influences and relationships that challenge you to grow in your faith. When the storms of life come and threaten to uproot the seeds you've planted, stand firm in the knowledge that I am with you. I will not let you be shaken or destroyed. Your roots go deep into my love, and that is a foundation that cannot be moved. On the days when you're tempted to get caught up in the chaos and noise of the world, take a step back and reconnect with me. Set aside moments in your day to detach from distractions and bask in the tranquility of my presence. Allow me to renew your outlook and illuminate the essence of true significance. I understand the incessant demands and pressures of existence, 
the sensation of being tugged in myriad directions. Yet, I beckon you to embrace the cadence of my grace, trusting in the ease of my yoke and the lightness of my burden. There is no need to strive or validate your worth. Simply abide in me and let my essence flow through you. Remember, dear one, that the journey of faith is not a sprint, but a marathon. It's not about swiftness, but about steadfast endurance. Fix your gaze upon me and traverse the path laid out for you with unwavering perseverance, knowing that I am your source of fortitude and your ultimate reward. So continue to sow, to abide, to find solace in me. Have faith that I orchestrate all things for your benefit and my glory, even when growth remains concealed beneath the surface. I am profoundly thankful for you, my devoted child. Your existence radiates the beauty of my love and grace, and I am privileged to claim you as my own. Amen. My child, click on the subscribe button to be part of our community.